Soon after posting my last video on Zarch, I was sent the original source code for it. Um, so I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to demonstrate how I go about converting games <coughs> or the original source code to run on 32-bit systems. Um, so the first thing we want to do probably is just have a look at this and see what we need to change to make it compile or we'll see if it does actually compile for a start. Um, let's just see what it does in the way of saving. Okay, right, probably want to set that to true by the looks of it. It's, yeah, well, it's going to run it in memory. Uh, what's that? That sounds like something we might need to change as well. If I tell you what, before we change any of this, let's take a copy of that. Okay, what does this do tables flag do? Uh, Alright, so builds the tables, we want that to true, I guess. So it builds those tables up rather than them in. That's obviously done to speed up compiling. I'll well, just switch, change this. Let's put a path on it. Let's put a path variable up here. Uh, where are we? SDFS dot 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 dot. dot. Testing, I don't know what this in. Testing. Change that tables one as well. Is that it? Save that as basic. <coughs> uh, let's check that compiles. Yeah, it does. Okay, right, so we're not compiles. Next thing we probably do is see if it actually runs. So, to do that, I probably need to do it under ADFFS because it's still coded for. Windows 3.1. So let's go to testing. Oops. Go to the supervisor. Just doesn't show back to the wind to the desktop. And let's run it. In fact, hang on. Before I do that, I put. A, oops. Before I do that, I better make sure I can actually quit out the thing. I think this it obviously checks for keys somewhere, so let's see if um see if we can find that. Okay, it's not using OS Byte, let's see what it is using. Oh, okay, it's been hard coded, so let's look for OS Byte. Right, some of my history of keys people scan, so what's this doing? Oh look, there's already, already a bit of code in there to do it, so if we change that to that, and well, if we press E, we should be able to quit out. So let's run it again. Now let's try it under ADFFS. Oh, I put screen size to 160. My uh, 13. Such. Mm, that doesn't work very well. Uh, what was that doing? Oh, the screen. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay, when it runs. 
Keep it on the quick side though. And it looks like there's probably a bug as well because it's crashed. Right, um, reset the font, okay, I'll have ADFFS, go back to desktop. Right, okay, so we know it runs, so it's got a bug, bug in it somewhere we need to fix, but um, for the time being that'll do, it works. So now we need to go about actually getting it getting it to work in 30 bits. So first thing we probably want to do is sort out the screen address. So where is that set in the screen address? I think it's hard coded from memory actually. Ah yeah, that, here we go. Screen top I guess that is. Right, so we need to, and that's the size of the screen. And that's the first screen buffer by the looks of it. So let's see where that's used. That's only used in the setup. What's that used? Okay, that doesn't help us. What's that used? Ah, here we go. <coughs> right, so these two variables here look like screen buffers one and two. I would guess, yeah, because that's plus one, plus one screen size. So we want to recode that to actually get the screen address, screen address, screen address legally. Uh, so let's add in a bit of code to do that. We'll figure out how to call it in a minute, but for a minute, let's just code it. Um, Right, we need both screen banks, so probably the easiest way to do that is to switch the primary screen bank, set the secondary to the second bank, and then use get VD variables to get the two addresses. So let's do that. So we want to go screen bank. One first for the primary. Then we want to go to the second screen bank. For the back buffer. And then we want to get the screen address. So we can do that here. If we get rid of those, comment them out. Uh, 148 is the front buffer, I think. Uh, yeah, 149 is the back buffer. Terminate that. to add the margins on what's margin three length of one of us six or oh, two lines of text uh, so we probably want to get tell you what let's just hard code that for the moment I mean what we probably ought to do is actually get the width of the screen in pixels um, and then um, Multiple it up. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Just as so it's go going back and doing it later. Um, screen width in pick in bytes, I think, is six. Screen width in bytes. Right, so. We load that and that. Increase that by margin. 
and store it back. Do the same thing with second screen buffer. Install that back. And that should hopefully be enough. Right, so what do we need to call that is the next question. Um, we want to find out what the entry point is. Right, it's not the start of the code, so let's find our save line. Let's see what that's doing. Ah, entry. Okay, so let's look for entry. Entry. Okay, so right, good, because mode buffered mode 13. Right, so let's go to our code there to get them to get the correct addresses. Right, what's going on here? It's doing something with the stack. Right, I don't think it needs to store the other stack. And I don't think we need to do that either. Because it doesn't exit. We're exiting via a exit, so that's a waste of time. Right, let's get rid of that. Okay, right, let's um let's change this to an absolute actually. Oh, what's the code entry? At the front here, right, okay. Branch to entry. Let's go back to our save line. And let's simply convert that to an absolute. Right, so now we want to just double check that still works. So let's try running it under ADFFS again. Uh, let's try that again. Right, still works. So that's good. Right, okay, so that's okay. So the next thing we do is start 32 bit in it. So Say that's a uh, absolute. What's on that? Not an absolute. Oh, I didn't run it. Code's overflowed. Okay. So somewhere's got to check for overflow. Code size. Right. Where's that? There we go. Uh, any particular reason why it's that? Well, it's fixed. Don't know. Okay, let's try, try changing it and rerun it. That's okay. <coughs> right, let's try that one again. Yeah, it works. Oh, the margin is not correct. Oh, I haven't multiplied it up, have I? It was, uh, where was it? Oh, screen length 16. So let's go back to that routine. And we need to do screen, well, screen length divided by 16, two lines. So that'll be 16 lines. So let's multiply that up by 16. And oh, do that run. Yep. And try that again. Is it an absolute this time? Yeah, okay, right. 
Arch. Right, that's better, that works. <sighs> right. Right, so now we need to go about 30, actually 30 bit in the code. So we want to look for um, occurrences of uh, TQP, TSTP, CMPP, and CMNP, where, where it's changing um, flags. So let's do an advanced search for. Um, remember how to do this? Variance that wants us that plus PC. Well, there's none of those. So next thing we want to look for is LDMs and STMs that are trying to preserve flags. So if we just do a search, simple search for that. Alright, so we've got 16. Right, so we've all got to now. If we want to open up some notes, because we might need to take notes to figure out which um, need to preserve flags. Right, so delay 2. Right, so that's called from delay by looks of it. Alright, that's there. Well, that doesn't need to preserve flags. To put up a delay. Delay's not called. Okay. If delay's not called, why is it there? Okay, that, we can comment that code out. Doesn't look like it's used. That does not need to preserve flags because that one's preserving flags. Right, so that bit leads us on to the next one. Right, I can see immediately that needs to preserve flags because that line there. Let's check the well that one doesn't because it does compare straight after. For that one. No, I would say not. Right, so we need to alter this one to preserve the flags or branch paths, probably if we Branch past it, I reckon. Um, branch less than equal to, what's the opposite less than equal to higher then? Branch higher. Um, do height scores be 1. Which means we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. That needs to. Oh, I don't know. That needs to go there. Yep. Right, so we can now go back to that one. That's done. Right, next one, what's this? Get tactics. Right, that needs to be preserved as well. So that needs to exit. EQ, that needs EQ. That doesn't matter. Right, probably easier if we just make that exit with EQ set then. That's what we use for doing it rather than want to follow that other code, a bit of a cheat, but it'll do. Right, that's that one, move on to the next one. Uh, do tactics. Oh, that's 
six flags after so that's okay, that doesn't need it either. That right these two no that's setting flags there. So that's that's setting flags there, so we don't need to worry about that one. So that we can simply exit let's probably get another one here, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's that and that. Right, this one. Do thrust. Right, that's obviously needs to retain because it wants it's doing check afterwards. Right, what do you want to do here? We can Right, well it's entered with M I set. We've got four horses into this with MI as well. That's him, alright, so they're all entered with MI set. It's interesting, that's called twice. Okay, they're all, call, all entered with MI set, so we could simply exit with MI set. Is it only ent exited once? No, it's actually twice. Okay. Right, okay. That's simple. We just change this to go to an exit. Right, so we'll put an exit on this function here. We need to make sure it exits with the MI set, so... Move our sets, comma, hash, mv ends, give it minus one, tq, uh, no, compare, our sets, comma, hash, not right, that's a cheat, but it'll do for the moment. We can just go back and tidy this up later, so that needs to be piece, that needs to PCS to that. Right, that's that one, and is that one? That one, right, next one, do shot. Oh, well, there's a bug straight away, that should be exited in with PC. Not R14. That's probably what was causing that crash, actually, thinking about it. Right, what's do shot called from? Uh, I've got to compare after, so that's okay. I suspect fine play is not going to do anything. That's setting flags anyway, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, that's doing a compare straight after, so that's okay. That's branching to there. We already know that fine play doesn't do anything, so they will corrupt the flags rather, so we don't worry about that. Uh, right, I'll go here. Right, so compare after it, so that's okay. Doesn't need to preserve flags, that's crafting flags there, so it doesn't need to preserve. That's crafting flags, so that's okay. Right, so we don't need to preserve flags in this routine. Right, next one. Find play. No, we've already established that that's right, compare straight after, compare straight after, compare straight after, compare straight after. It, right, okay, the, apart from that one, F in sound fade, what does that do? What's there? Oh, there's another bug. That is setting the sound volume. And if it goes positive, sounds always negative. It goes minus one down to minus six hundred fifty-five thousand one thirty-six, I think, of uh, thirty-five even. Um, so that should be an S there, so that that then corrects it if it goes positive. 
Okay, well, there's cut two bugs we fixed already. Alright, so anyway, back to our original routine. So that does not need to preserve flags. Right, next one. Find target, I guess. Oh, it's got a compare straight after, so is that one. What's that one do? That one does as well. That's one there, so what's that doing? That doesn't use flags. Right, okay, so that does not need to preserve flags. Because they're all corru they're sc they're corrupt after. Well, that's that one. Right, this one. Choose run a direction to fly. Right, that does need to preserve flags. Right, let's just skip it if it's negative. Get rid of those. Right, that's that one done. Right, get player. Does that need to preserve flags? I would say probably not. It's only called once. No, the flags are cropped there, so that's okay. We can get rid of that. Next one. Fly player, this is going to have two exits by the looks of it. Right, that does need to preserve flags. Right, probably simplest thing is just exit with any set. So that's the same as what we did on the other one. And put an exit in. Oh, wrong thing. Right, let's test uh, Arnold with uh, the stack. Finish. Actually, Arnold with R14, we know that's not going to be the same. Right, branch if not. Oh, hang on, that's doing branch if not equal. Well, we need to exit with any, so we can just leave that exiting actually. Just take the bit off the end. Right, so we don't we don't need this exit bit I'll put in down here. But we do need to exit with any set. Right, so that's exiting with any set, that's gonna set any, so that's okay. Right, do stars. So, yeah, so these recurrences that does compare afterwards. So, no, that does not need to preserve flags. That last one, no, one more cheat. Well, I suspect that doesn't need to, um, I what it's called. What is it called? Doesn't appear to be called. Okay. We'll get rid of that, and it's not, it's not being called. In fact, that would be quite handy actually because we turned demo mode on. So let's turn that on. Um, let's cheat. Um, now, from memory, it does some key checks on sound. So let's, let's have a look for that. In fact, we put an exit between the way there was the key checks. So let's have a look. Right, sound off, I believe, is the thing that turns the sheets on and off. In fact, no, it's doing it, it's calling it here. So, let's just comment those two out and call it anyway. Uh, it doesn't need to be flags elsewhere. Right, okay, so hopefully that's all of the LDMs and STMs done. We fixed two bugs on the way. Now we want to look for things that set flags 
uh, via all oh, directly set flag, so all's PC moves PC, that kind of thing. So if I go back to my oh, I forget if I type it again, go back to my um, advanced search I was doing earlier, we want to search for uh, it always end in S uh, space plus PC. Right, how many of those have we got? Nine. Right, CS, so yes, no, 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 right, nothing sets flags. Then we'll move or ALU commands. Right, so hopefully we recompile that. That might run. I think it sets the um, absolute. Doesn't seem to be working. Set type pass plus absolute. Why is that not working? Uh, don't know. Well, let's set it penalty for a moment. Set type absolute. Right, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Oh, we made a crash. Right, C D six eight. I'll tell you what we ought to do. Uh and that is uh where are you? Let's put that C D six eight. C D six eight. Oh. What's that error? That's the entry. That's the entry code. Let's check what I did. Uh, F2. Um, it was dot entry, wasn't it? Oh, well, I need to set the stack before doing anything. That would be the sensible thing to do. Right, let's try that again. Why is that not saying that as an absolute? That's annoying. Set type. So why doesn't that work? Oh, there's an end on the line before. That'd be white. Right, that's better. It's absolute now. Right, let's try again. Yay! Right, it's running. It's a bit on the far side, but we'll ignore that for a minute. And the sound's wrong. Right, demo mode. Uh, U, T and Q, isn't it? Right, I'll just leave it running for a little while, see if it crashes at all. Right, let's give it a load of lives. Looks like it's running. So let's quit out. Right, now, let's figure out why the sound doesn't work. Uh, sound. Why well, the sound is wrong, I should say. Oh, we'll just change the font back, FX20. Right, what's up with our sound? Um, if I don't want to search for that, I want to search for sound underscore. Right, it's one of these, what's this? Right. Okay, it's doing it. For some reason it's coded twice. Right, we don't want to comment those out, because they're wrong. We want to do this. So we want... They look okay. Let's see what that does. Still wrong. Okay. Let's check this. Uh, right, so channel 1, 2, 3, 4. Beavis, are they the wrong way around? Or is it something else? What's this doing? Oh. I've got a batch file thing to run. A batch file? A uh, command file to run this. A, a play file even. To reset 
the fonts. Right. Pay dollar dir dot search. FX twenty. Ram Zotch. What's that? Right, what's wrong with this? Let me look that up. Uh, where are we? The browser is somewhere? There. Got to roll. Uh, search the wiki. Well, I'll just check that that is the way calling this correct. Sound underscore attach named voice. Channel voice name null terminated. Null terminated. Ah, right, I said the problem. It's using the wrong value, the wrong SWI. So let's correct that. So it should be AA. Right, let's see what that does now. Recompile it and run it. Right, let's fix the sound problem. So now we need to sort out the speed. Right, so I think if I need, I reckon it just needs to have um, a weight when it switches screens. It's obviously got weight in it because when you die, it's the correct frame rate. So let's have a look for where it's switching screen banks. Um, what were those variables called? SC. Oh no, they're not going to help us, are they? Um, let's search for hash one one two because. That reset. Urgh. All right. Okay. So one of these didn't screen bank switching. Oh, that's that's my code. So it's not that. Uh, oh, we go bank flip switch. Oh, look, it's commented out. Okay. Well, let's add that back. We want to do it before the. That's oh, going to corrupt our no. R1, R2, does that matter? R0, no. R1, right, let's put it before this. Recompile and run. That's better, still too fast. Right, so that's running at twice the speed it should be. So, we need to add two in, I would say. That is Arnold corrupt. No, so it's a spy, it doesn't corrupt Arnold, we'll get rid of that. Um, let's just call it twice. See what that does. Right, slow that down. So we probably need to use check whether. The, oh no, is that the right speed? No, that's the right speed actually. I should recall it being quite slow. Okay, ignore the f jerkiness. That's because we're only double buffering, not triple buffering. I can, I can botch that actually. Just for the sake of this, I'll botch it by moving. That after the ironically is where it was in the first place. Um, that won't be correct for anything else. We'll have to add triple buffering in, but I'll do that at another point. Right, I'll just comment that out. That should hopefully 
get it the correct speed and look correct on exactly bit. Right. There we go. <coughs> so we just need to test it. Escape causes a crash. E5, E0. E5, E0. What does that do? Oh, we've missed a um, instruction now. How do we miss that? Okay. Doesn't exist. Was I um, okay, why am I not finding that? Has it got space after it? No. I'm just having a look at that. E5, E0. E5, E0. Oh, hang on. No, it's jumped out of the code. What is that? Oh, that must be after the code. That's, ah, code base. Ah, I think I know what it might be. I seem to remember this of the skates to code. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what. Let's load up Armalizer and just pass it through that. Just one. Pass it through that and see if there's any. Self modifying codes, let's target X car, I guess. I've got a round drive, how big's my round drive? 32 mega. That's pretty right. Get rid of that, don't need that now. Right, let's have a look if there's any self modifying code in here. Right, there is. Right, there's some self modifying code there. Is there any more? Okay, right, so we've got some modifying codes, so let's have a look for that. Um, how are we going to find that? Um, right, let's just have a look at this other escape thing. What does escape do? Um, have we got any references to it? Escape. I'll tell you what, escape is going to quit out of the main loop so let's find the main loop it should be pretty obvious it'll have a load of branches I would expect normally push out further in fact let's change this to that it might be easier to see oh god that's ghastly <laughs> Put that back to base mode. Let's have another look at that code. It would be really helpful if Armalizer told you where what was modifying code. Rather than just telling you it was self modifying. That's not how anyway, it's that instruction. Right, I'll tell you what, let's have a look for that instruction. Uh MPN on or on or other cell that's one. Uh, move. Or not. I'll sell dash one. 
Right, it's one of these. That one, perhaps? No, no, that's the wrong thing. It's in here we're supposed to look in. We want to search just this one. Right, I didn't find it. Um, this is where space has become a pain in the backside. Right, let's try those. Right, didn't have a branch after it. Right, we're not going to find it that way. Okay, I guess we're going to have to... Um, just do a check. Check if there's anything obvious in the code. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the instruction. Oh, it's ISL. That says LSL. Okay, not quite sure what that is. That's definitely it. Yep, that looks like it. Double check. Yes, load of. Compare, move, compare, compare CC. This, yeah, right, that's definitely it. So the, this is definitely a bit of self modifying code. So what's happening here then? Modified according to sheet. What is sheet? I would say that is probably the level. Yeah, start sheet. Okay, so where is all right? So it's stored in a variable. So let's just mark this because we're going to have to come back to it. Right, let's see where that's set. That's set in there. Get rid of that. Right, so we need to check. There's something to do with that value. So let's have a look for sheet number. Tell you what, let's go back to that code. Let's just put that there because we're going to need to compare it against that. It's also because it says it's modified against that. Let's have a look for that. What's storing that? So I'm just going to reference it. There we go. So, what does that do then? Ah, right, okay, so old land must be the start level. Okay, what do the other ones do then? Where was the other one? There was no one here a minute ago. New land, new land. Let's look for that one. And that one. Right. So go back to our code. So that's when are they being called? They've been called. All oh right. So level. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Okay. So checking the level. I would guess. So that's sheet. So sheet is in our naught. I guess going by that comment. So when we're above, we're level nine or above. New land two is used, fill four and above. New land is used and below that it will be old land. Okay, so we basically need to duplicate what these do. So what do these do? Right, they're just loading these values here and storing them. So we want so I'll tell you what, let's comment all this code out because we and have to code it into that routine. Right, so these are the bits of code we need. So we can't use R0 because it's based on R0, so let's use, use R1. R1 is. There we go. R1, R2, R3 are corrupt. 
So, uh, are they used below? Did they carry over? R1. What's RX? RX, I see. No, that's not R0, R1. Okay, so what we can do is load that into R1. Uh, compare it with 4. I think it was the first level, wasn't it? 4. If it's what did that one do? Old land. That one. So that just does that RFB. Uh, back to there. So if it's less than four. We we do that. Um, we need to do unsigned. And then we need to skip past the next picks. We need to two, do two more checks. Um, branch low. Let's comment this out as well. Let's get past that. That's that first one done. Next one was up to nine. Pair with nine. Nine did that. Below that does that and that. And above all the same it does these two. Higher or same. Okay, let's see what that does. I'm going to have to close some of these windows. Oh, don't need that. Okay, ring pilot. Well, oh, what am I missing? What have I missed? Oh, it's those branches. Right, um, was it an old land? I want to comment that out. Well, we can comment that out as well because it's doing so. It's already in the register. And comment that out, and that's doing the same thing as well. So we can comment that out. And then New Land was the other one. <coughs> So we can comment that out. And we can comment that out. Alright, let's try that. Ah, I'm still missing something. What line? Let's put an order on so I can see where it is. Nine 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 six. Oh, it's annoying that semicolon doesn't come out a whole line in basic. Again. 
Right, well, the landscape looks okay, so I'm guessing that works. We'll have to play it to level 5 to find that out. Let's turn demo mode on. Alright, we've not got any fire sounds for some reason on the ship as well. Hang on, that was working a second ago. Oh, I'll put it on. It's got some demo down on. Turn the sound off a bit. Should have left it running quick, <laughs> so we can get level five quicker. We just want to. What we're doing is just checking that the last cut changes when it gets to level five. Oh, uh, I want to speed this up with smart bombs. Uh, B, I think it is. Bombs. Is there a key to give me more bombs? Should have checked that really. I just don't turn demo mode off. Take some time, isn't it? <laughs> I'm always tempted to quit out and comment out those. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do that. This is going to take forever. Uh, OS bite. Do that one. Yeah, that one. Let's just comment them out for a minute. Rerun it. Uh, turn the demo mode on. Right, I just want to quickly get it to um, level 5. This next one does the landscape change. Mm. It's running out of fuel for some reason. Well, the landscape changed, at least. The next level was level 9, 10. Hammering the lives and fuel button. It's so struggling with gravity. Oh, we got extra life. <laughs> Come on, you can make level 9. Level 9, right, next level just the line spec change. Oh, that done look good. Right, so something wrong with level 10. And it crashed. 
Right, level 10, something wrong with level 10. Right, where's that code? Uh, there. Um, level 10, level 10, level 10. Oh, well, that might be why. That should be that. Right, let's recompile it. In fact, I think I remember seeing a variable at the top that said the start level. Let's. Um, what was it called? St uh, what was the variable name? Sheet. Start sheet. Yep. So let's start at level 10. Let's put those. I oh, spot 19s back. That one, that one. Recompile and run it. Oh, okay, level 10, that's it. Okay. Well, let's go start corrupting out this. Alright, so next problem the crash. Oh, I'll better run that again actually. Um, I was going to press escape. So, what happens when you press escape? Um, high score table. Oh, hang on, it was. Um, let's just rerun that. Where did it crash? E59C. E59C. What's E59C? E59C. Ah. E59C. Go on. That looks okay. Oh, hang on. I've changed this since then. Let's do it on that E five nine C. E five nine C. All right. So, how's that getting into that? Oh, it's like crop code. Ah, hang on, I just spotted it. That there is obfuscating the code. Yeah, 94, so there's self modifying there. Okay, well, that's a stroke of luck, so let's, um, let's have a look for that. We need. Let's look for that ER, R3, R3, R0. ER, R3, R0. R3 R3 R0 Ah, there we go Corrupt or decut region Use a mask and R0, ok so let's well, the competition's over. I reckon this is something to do with the competition, so let's just comment it out because it's not relevant. We don't need to encrypt and decrypt it. So this is the region of code, it's encrypted and decrypting. Right, so that must be encrypted in the first place. So let's see, oh, there we go. Four line at the end that's encrypting it, so if we just comment that out. Right. And run that. Oh, one four four nine. One four four nine. Oops. Uh, okay, we need to comment that out. And again, there where it de re encodes it. So it decrypts it and then re encrypts it. Let's put that start sheet back as well, that's the end of those just reminding me, start, start sheet, about zero, recompile and give it a run. Right, 
Right, no more crash, and the high score works. Right, let's give it a quick play. This is always the problem when 32 bit in games is actually play testing. I mean, but this is what demo is, so it's a bit easier, but um, if you're doing a game that's a lot bigger, especially a game that's got mixed C code, then it becomes a quite a chore testing stuff. Yeah, it would be cool. <laughs> Can X not get a rift out of this and do it in 3D? Screw this. Let's do demo mode. Right, well I would say that that is probably done. I um, probably need to do some more playtesting on it but um, I think that'll do for the time being. So the next thing to do, now that I've let's just quit out, next thing I've got to do, or next thing to do, or we, well, next thing we can do is look at um, whether it's possible to increase the lab scope size and increase the frame rate. So at the moment we're running at uh, 25, this is 50 hertz, so it's running at 25 frames per second. Um, we really want it to be running at, um, well, ideally the frame rate your monitor is at, but that might be a bit difficult to code because I suspect it's hard coded for time, but um, if not, at least get it running at 50 hertz. Well, that's all for now. Bye.